one of the most influential countries in the world, began 850,000 years ago on a hill known as Mount Poggioli. Italy was influenced by the Phoenicians not long after becoming a notable people group. Also at this time was the Etruscans. The Etruscans had set up a kingdom which would rule the people who would later become the Romans, but this was not to last. Also in Italy were the Greeks. We have an era of time known as Magnus Graeca, where we had a substantial amount of Greek influence. Also at this time was the establishment of Rome with the famous legend of Romulus and Remus, although the truth is shrouded in mystery. The end of the Roman kingdom happened with a tyrant known as Tarquin the Proud, shown above. He prompted the creation of the Roman Republic. The Roman Republic was founded. Many people living in it had no idea how great its power would become. It became so great, it wouldn't be a republic. Its power led to the conquest, which became the Roman Empire, stretching from England all the way to Syria. The Roman peace, or Pax Romana, allowed many times for monuments to be built, such as the world-famous Colosseum. An emperor of Rome known as Theodorus split the Roman Empire into west and east, allowing for better ruling of the areas. The two halves, western and eastern Rome, began to split away from each other and grow individually distinct. Western Rome's end was here. The sack of Rome of 476 carried out by the Ostrogoths ruined Rome, and now Rome was gone. The king of the Ostrogoths became Alaric the Great. Alaric the Great was the first of many Gothic kings of Western Rome. After the Goths were out, now we have the duchies of Italy, totaling over 15, such as the ones above. But Spain, noticing how Italy had been going so good, specifically Aragon, wanted part of Italy. So they annexed the island of Sardinia, Sicily, and part of the Italian mainland. Also at this time was a great number of construction projects in what is now the Vatican City, including the world-famous Sistine Chapel built by none other than Michelangelo. He kick-started the renaissance of not only Italy, but the world. Another influential person in the Renaissance was Leonardo da Vinci. Famous for his inventions and paintings, his legacy is still around today. But the good news for Italy ended there, as the plague hit Italy hard. A quarter of its population died, totaling over one million. Bad luck continued 300 years later with the invasions of Napoleon. Italy would never be the same. After Napoleon was banished to an island, we then get the Italian kingdom. But that also wasn't to last. It's 1920, and we now have World War II with Benito Mussolini becoming a big shot as f the head of fascist Italy. After being deposed, Mussolini's empire later on became the modern-day country of Italy, with the current borders being set after World War II. We now have the modern day of Italy, and that is my history of Italy. Thank you for watching.